The great sacrifices of the veterans of the world wars may never be repaid, but some members of society continue to dutifully honor them for the toll they paid in allowing freedom to prevail. That includes the Royal Commonwealth Ex Services League in St. Slusha, which works to ensure the memories of these heroes remain relevant. As the greatest generation of vets moves to the undiscovered country from which no man has yet returned, the League lives on through the millennials and Zen Zers like new president Ken Roy Justin. He served in the British Army and was deployed to Afghanistan from 2009 to 2010. During this year's Remembrance Day celebrations, Justin paid homage to the Red Poppy, a lasting symbol to those who died in World War I and later conflicts. Two decades after the First World War ended, the world was plunged again into the second global conflict. No longer could Armistice Day remain a day only to remember the dead of the First World War. After the Second World War ended in 1945, 11th November became known as Remembrance Day. The day's somber association has never changed since. In World War I, the fields couldn't grow food and there was nothing on it, but when the war ended, poppies started to grow. So that, in fact, is why we wear poppies as a symbol of Remembrance Day. Justin touted the sacrifices veterans made for the greater good of humanity. We also call to mind what must have been a horrific civilian experience for the elderly, children, mothers watching their sons and husbands and their chukluks walk off, millions never to return. On nervous nights, they would have to turn all of the lights off as their cities were at risk of bombings. Remember the sacrifices of everyone, the doctors and nurses who tended to the wounded, the parents who watched their children fight things that they couldn't protect them from. The children who were too young to understand why their moms and dads wouldn't be home for Christmas. The teen boys who were shipped off to fight before they even got a chance at adulthood. Or the kids who had to grow up too soon so they could take care of their families in the middle of a war. Because they lost so much, and because they gave everything, we thank them. We will always remember them. Past president of the Ex Services League, Reginald Sherabin, called for peaceful solutions to today's global challenges. You come here to pray for peace. In 1914, 84, you did that, and you come back again. And would you come back again to, after this war is over? I myself thought we'd never have another war because I think people are more intelligent, I think people are more religious, and when you think of that great bomb that was released in Japan, could the Russians or the British or the anybody carry one of these bombs, the atomic bombs, that wipe out thousands of people? I don't think we should ever have a war, and we should have people to think properly. Justin succeeds St. Slusha's last living World War II veteran, Hines Cyril, who recently observed his 101st birthday on November 12, 2022. He was also St. Slusha's first fire chief. Gina Filippi, HDS News Force.